Hey everyone, John Deere from John Deere's Embroidery Legacy. I have people who periodically send me in their design files and they want me to take a look at them and kind of assess or give my opinion on what I might do differently. Uh, they might have had a problem with it running in production, it could have been two stitch intensive, it could have broken threads, it could have had puckering in the design, or they're just not getting the detail that they, they wanted in the design, or they just want to see maybe how a digitizer with experience might look at that job. And I got to be honest, I love it when people send me in. Uh, little things like that because I get to go in and I get to dissect what they did and and please keep in mind that in no way am I trying to tear apart somebody else's work that is not the case here I'm the first person to publicly say that there is a learning curve if you want to learn how to create your own designs no matter what software you're using there is a learning curve involved and that's something that we try to help people get past so I take this as a positive experience because I'm going to show you what was done and some of the things that may not be correct in my opinion and then I'm going to show you what I did a little bit differently to potentially get better results. Now, this design that we're going to work on, this one was actually so much fun for me. Uh, the person who sent it in actually just had a, a request that I take a look at the wings. They wanted to see how I would potentially do the wings of this design a little bit differently. And I, I got to be honest, I just couldn't stop at the wings. I had to uh, pretty much get in and redigitize the entire design. And I think you're going to be pretty surprised with the results that I got. Uh, and this is actually going to be fun because we're going to dive right into the software and I'm going to show you the before, the during, and the after. So let's get into it. Now here's the embroidery file that I received and I was really happy because it was actually in the native EMB file format which means that I could go in here and I could break apart all of the uh, objects and they're branched together right now, but I could break it apart and I could see every object in the sequence that it was actually digitized. Or I could come in here to my player and I can do a redraw, which essentially shows me how the pathing, how this design is basically laid out. And it's going from one side of the wing and then it goes over to the other side and it continues on with its pathing until it gets to the center part of the design and then I'm done. Now if I look here, it's really not terribly done. I mean, there, there could be a little bit more depth and direction in there, and the stitch count isn't out of this world. It's 7,400 stitches for a three inch design. And keep in mind that the real size of this is actually three inches in, in width. Now, usually, I'm gonna go back to my original view, Usually whenever I see an embroidery file, I always ask if they have the original artwork that I could take a look at. Because it's one thing to see the design after it's been digitized, but seeing the original artwork really gives you a true, you know, um, viewing of what detail was there in the first place. So I did get the original artwork and you can see that there is quite a bit of detail there. Now, here's the thing with embroidery. You know, too much detail, you lose the design. Too little detail, you can't really tell what it is. And then there's the halfway mark somewhere in between. So overall, I mean, it's uh, the design's done fairly well. I, I can't really complain too much about the pathing, but I would do things a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in my file now, and I'm going to insert the design, and I'll call in the file that I actually digitized, and I'm going to then take that file and put it down underneath of the other two. Now it's the exact same width as the original design, but the one thing that I want you to notice is that the stitch count on my design is 5,248 stitches. The original design was 7,413 stitches. I reduced almost 21 uh, or 2,100 stitches out of that design. And on a design that is only three inches in width, that really is substantial. Now, if we look at how this was actually done, I'm gonna do the redraw again. So I'm gonna go through my player and I'm gonna show you the original. You can see how the wings are done from one side to the next, goes to the other side, does the detail in the center, and then here's how I did mine. 
If you notice, the first thing I did was I put a fill down, a very loose density fill. It's 0.6 millimeters of spacing. And then with a lower density satin stitch, I did all the details on top. This is going to cause the design to lay down flatter and have less gapping while still keeping the integrity of the detail. Then I traveled to the other side, did the same thing, repeated the process. Because it is a wing, I didn't have to redigitize it. I just, you know, copied and duplicated and, you know, put it on the other side. And then when I get to this part here, I can see that I traveled in and all of this work that you can see within all of these details is actually done using a running stitch. It's a manual running stitch. Most of the detail in this design is using a running stitch. As I go through, I have a little bit of detail here. I go around the top of this and I've really created something that will have less stitches and it will look a lot better when it's finished. Then I continue the border around the outside, making sure that I use an edge run border so that I keep that final round stitch nice and clean. And when we're done, we actually have a design that in my opinion, it actually looks more realistic, has more depth. We're changing angles on it, so it's going to give you a more visual appeal to the design. Now the proof is always in the stitching. And you can see, as I'm stitching this, you can see that the uh, fill pattern is going down and then I continue to do all of the detail work on top of it. And when you look at the finished result of the two designs, it is actually pretty dramatic how one looks a lot cleaner than the other, keeping in mind that the one that actually looks cleaner has 2,100 stitches less than the original. And that's the, the beauty of this. So uh, this was a great experience for me because I got to see how somebody who, you know, isn't... Uh, isn't, doesn't have quite as much experience, would look at an original piece of artwork, and I got to take my hat off to them. There was very few jumps or trims, they pathed it properly, but by going in and actually looking at it a little bit differently, this design will sew better, lay flatter, and especially when I feel the backside of this embroidery, I can tell that there's absolutely no hard stitches whatsoever. If I look at this design right here, I can see the front looks great. It actually looks nice and detailed. The back of the embroidery, I can tell the first one has a lot of hard stitches within that area. There's a lot of, you know, almost little mini bird's nests that are there. And the one that I did is sitting perfectly flat. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. It's, it's really fun and cool to be able to take uh, part designs and recreate designs. And uh, please, if you have any designs that you have issues with, I'd love to potentially do another embroidery case file. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Hi everyone, John Deere here, and thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. Also, to become part of the legacy, be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every time we release a new weekly video. So join the legacy now. It's no mystery, award-winning embroidery is our history.